Hello, everyone. Sorry if I sound a bit strange. I'm currently using head so headphones that I am not accustomed to. Today, we are going to be playing through Curious Cases. This is an escape the room style game that is quite short because honestly, I don't think I can stand to be using these headphones for far too long. But it's a very nice uh, experience, especially if you have VR. I'm not going to be using VR this time, but maybe some other time I might redo this game with VR on. So the story goes... Let's see. Yes. We are Detective Thomas Moore, as we can tell by our business cards. And we have been called upon to solve a case for a missing scientist. With that in mind, you should know that this is a multiplayer game. But I don't have anyone to play with right now, so... Just gonna go in solo. First thing we're gonna need is our key, which is right over here. But first, I should point out that you can open and close objects that you unlock later on. Welcome to Chapter 1, The Missing Scientist. And this is where we will get into the main aspect, the guts of the game, basically. I hope you all enjoy this. It takes a bit to load, but... Hopefully I will be doing Okami on Friday. I am just putting that out there right now. I'm not 100% sure because I'm not sure if these new headphones will work. Alright, so. Let's see. Let's turn those on. Alright. So, this is our opening area. Lots of papers that you can interact with, lots of little objects, little items that you can interact with. It's a perfect escape room. Uh, I really wish I could go and do one of these in real life, but I don't think there's one anywhere near me. So this is the best we've got. We can open this. Door to that is locked. Laptop is turned off. We've got a safe. No idea what the combination is. Triangles. Numbers. Alright, let's get started. First thing up. Notice how there is an hourglass here. There's four clocks on the wall. That doesn't seem right. Let's see. That would be three, eight, three, eight, five, seven. Let's try that. Three, eight, five, seven. There we go. A letter written by the scientist. It looks like a personal log. This is another clue that we'll be using a little bit later. For now, take this, put it over here. This will be important later, just like with the note. Okay, you can stay right there. Next up, let's get the combination to the safe. So, it's time for everybody's favorite subject, math! These four triangles and these four triangles have different equations to solve them. Let's see. How did it go? Uh... Okay, I know on this side, it is the top number times the bottom left number divided by the third number. So 9 times 4 is 36, divided by 3 is 12. This is 56, divided by 4 is 14. 6 times 4 divided by 1 is 24. With that in mind... 9 times 8 is 72 divided by 2 
36. Yeah. So 36. Remember that. Uh huh. Okay, I've got the I've got it figured out. It is the bottom two minus the top. So three times two is six minus three is three. Five times six is thirty minus two is twenty eight. Eight times four is thirty two minus nine is twenty three. So seven times three is twenty one minus two is nineteen. So nineteen thirty six. Let's try that on the safe. What? Okay, hold on. 9 times 8 is 72. 36. Yeah, that should be it. Unless it's three six one nine. Huh. You yeah, know, that should be thirty six. It should be 19 and 36. Did I get something wrong? Is it another thing? <laughs> um, we'll come back to that, I guess. Flip the whole thing over and you'll find this. This is where the note comes in. Let's see. Decided to keep a personal log with how complicated things are about to get. Events might become blurry, and I might lose my sense of time. This is my last day in London I need. I have to leave. I left home early in the morning. I went over the King's Road. <sighs> oh, excuse me. To get my last cup of coffee from that small cafe I like so much. So, with King's Road, it should be... Oxford. There it is. King's Road, right there. Notice the number next to it. 11. After a long walk, I found myself in Hyde Park. I decided to sit there for a while and feel the sun and smell the fresh cut grass. I felt free and calm for the first time in a while, but then I saw them. They were following me all day long, as I knew it was my last day. I decided to take it slow, as they would never see me again. At least that's what I had hoped. I passed the Marble Arch and took Edward Road as it was crowded, and I hoped they wouldn't be able to follow me there. But I was wrong. They were everywhere. I took a right turn, and after a while, I arrived at Baker Street. So, King's Road is 11. Hyde Park is 7. The Marble Arch, so 11, 7, three, five. Aha! We don't need the note anymore. This looks like blueprints to a machine. I can't make it out.
This will be important later. Let's just go put that over here for right now. Rotate it and put it down. Perfect. Okay, this disc goes right here. Again, that will be important later. Okay, put this on the table. Let's try one, nine, three, six here. Ha! And now we'll get the last wheel. Perfect. What else was in here? A card. This is important for this. And the USB. We'll put that in the hub right here. And it's locked. Okay. So this tells us what we need to set the wheel to in order for it to make sense. So it would be one. Okay. You gotta love big old Dakota rings. And the arrow. Okay. That makes sense now. Let's see here. Six. That. Zero. And that. So... Six, that, zero, that. Is it six, five, six, five, nine, zero? Nope. Okay. Ah, I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so six, All right? Yes, yeah, six is N, O, uh, six, O, H, T. So N, O, H, T. Let's try that. N, O, H T Wait a minute. Do it again. That's Morse code. That's Morse code. Hold on. One Eight, five, zero. Ha! I knew learning Morse code would come in handy! <laughs> Chapter two. When to go, when to hide. This chapter is a lot... Uh, trickier than the last one and it involves a puzzle that oh boy oh boy from what I've heard is a pain in the ass because it's a musical puzzle ain't those always fun alright game load me in let's see what we've got <sighs> okay. Let's see here. Map. Books. Missing planets. Insert card. Can't open the desk. Worthless. Okay. That's locked. That's locked. Ooh. 
Ooh, secret hiding place. Well, that's helpful. Uh, I'm. Am I crazy? Hold on. Five, four, eight, zero. Okay, which one opens what? Is it this one? God, I'm good at this. Okay, let's see. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, uh, Jupiter, Saturn. Sixth grade coming in clutch. Okay. Miss Note. Another personal log. I should read it. Let's see, it worked. I was really uncertain about the whole process. So many variables, so many things that could go wrong. A slight miscalculation could have left me stranded anywhere, anytime. Oh, God, we've time traveled. Well, that's great. But it worked. It's strange to see a place so familiar, yet so different than what you were used to. It will take some effort to adjust to this place, but at least I know they will never find me here. I took a stroll around the usual places in search for the herb, but no luck. I went by Hyde Park first, as expected. It was full of all kinds of flora. It's a place that naturally attracts so many insects. There was a high chance of finding what I need there, but alas, things are not always that simple. Next was the University of London. Normally, I would be able to find my way there with little trouble. <sighs> but the city changed much more than I could imagine. Most landmarks that I am used to are not built yet. Thankfully, I bought a map with me, though not very accurate anymore. It gave me a very basic layout of the streets, and with it, the help of my compass, I was able to navigate this newfound labyrinth on my way to the university. Stumbled upon the Royal Academy where people had gathered and were being extremely loud. What really caught me off guard were the gunshots I heard from within the crowd. I did not expect to see such devices in this time. I should have known better. When I reached the university, I was greeted by a strange symbol of a sword with wings, this saying, knowledge is power, knowledge is freedom, under it. It seems strange, I did not recall ever seeing that in my time, which means it will most likely be erased and forgotten soon. I searched the gardens of the university for the plant, but to no avail. It seems that I underestimated the rareness of it, even in this time. At this point, my only option was to walk towards Cleopatra's Needle, or where it will be in a few years, and search the docks for a sailor that is willing to sell the seed to me. It seems that my travels will not end here and now. Hmm. So what are these things? Sword with wings. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. What did that say? Sword with wings, sword with wings, sword with wings. University was a sword with wings. Okay. University, university. Where are you? University, university. Well, there's Cleopatra's Needle. That's Hyde Park. Museum. University. No, wait. There we are. What's next? Insects. He said Hyde Park was full of insects. Next up, this compass should go right here with the other. A bullet. He said the Royal Academy, yes. Royal Academy. And he said Cleopatra's Needle. Oop. Ha ha! This looks like Neptune. Yep, Neptune. Or Uranus. I don't know which. And no, I'm not making that joke. It's way too easy. This would be Pluto. Yep, Pluto's not blue. Surprise! And yes, Pluto is a planet. Fight me. A uh, corpse flower. Why would anyone be looking for that? Very rare and powerful substance. If used correctly, the fools don't know how to use it. They don't have the time. 
When a stem is cut, it, leaves, it, need, it needs at least 50 years of maturation. Nobody can wait for so long. No one has the time, but I do. A key. Get a planet coupon. That would be Mars. No. No, this is Venus then. Oh, no. Well, shit. Um, we're going to be here for a minute. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Those are 0 0.5. So those connected notes are 0 0.5. Hold on, let me get let me get a piece of paper or something. Okay, there are four Five connections. Let's see if I can't figure this out. that three so that would be three four five three No. Five, three, one, two, three, four, eight, five, three, eight, I guess. Let's try that. Damn it.
See, this is why I hate music puzzles, because I can't read this shit. Uh... Okay. Let's start from the top. That's got to be a five. Screw this. Give me a hint. What's our group by? Oh, group by color. Okay, okay. In that case, that would be three. The lines were throwing me off. Okay, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, three, nine, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Three nine eight six six. Let's try that. Aha. There we go. Okay, all the planets are in alignment. Uh, ooh, hello. Okay, this is cool and all, but what's... Oh. Oh, that was it? That was the end of the chapter? Really? Well, all right then. This might be such a short stream I could make it into a video. Eh, I just cut out the loading times. I didn't think it'd be this short, though. Might be just another half an hour. Okay, chapter three, a knock from the past. What? 
this is not good. Yeah. Uh, crap. And it's satanic now. Okay. Ooh, a skull. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. So just putting the, the skull on the... Okay. Okay, I can't move that until I unlock the thing. Got it. Ooh. Oh, here we go. It's a little short, isn't it? Here we go. I gotta find them all and line them up so that they're the correct height. What does this do? Five candles, herb mixture, lighter, and instructions. And bloodstained pages. I'm guessing you are the Necronomicon. I'm not reading shit from you. Cool. It's a UV light. Well, that doesn't do anything. Oh, hey, what's that? Uh, let's see. The glass is full, half full, and empty. Um, is that a calendar? That is a calendar. Oh, here we go. Glass is full, so 29, half full, 4, empty, 8. 2, 9, 4, 8. Uh, 2, 9. Ha! Let's see here. Great forges are trapped outside our realm. Great forces, not forges. that keeps the balance of natural things every time a soul leaves our plane a small hole opens to allow it when something dies this happens immediately but the hole closes fast too fast for anything else to pass through there there is a way however to forge to force it I really need to stop saying forge force it to stay open hold it long enough and you might just witness incredible power come through animal blood forming a symbol on the floor Fire on the edges of the symbol, a soul to sacrifice, strong souls are the only way to make a hole large enough to not collapse, and a corpse flower grounded up. Once a symbol has been formed, the ritual has started, and all life forms in the large radius around it have been linked to it. They will suffer until the ritual is completed, or until all life around it dies. There is a way to stop the ritual that has been started without a sacrifice. One needs to gather some herbs and place a grounded mixture of them in the middle of the circle. Uh, once the fire has been lit, a mixture will be consumed in the mend the tearing of the barrier. A list of these herbs can be found in the next pages. Crap. So satanic rituals. Fun for the whole damn family. Let's see here. I still don't have a key. This place is creeping me out, man. Uh, we might need this candle later. I should leave it where it is. Oh, here's a key. Excellent. Uh, 
is that a body? Well, shit. Uh, that's not good. The first of Belladon, the fourth of Rosemary, the first of Lavender, the last of Mandrake, eighth of Eucalyptus, the second of Chamomile. Um, is this like the order of something? Leave that there for now. That's locked. There's another candle. How to cancel the ritual once started. Perfect. You place the colored candles in the correct order and light them up. Place the potion in the middle of the circle and scream your name. There's another one of these figure thingies. Oh, good. They can see me, huh? Let's look at the numbers. Wait a minute. E is the fifth letter of the alphabet. And let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, 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 S
Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Hmm. I think I have more stuff to do up here, though. Like finding those little wooden pegs, wherever they are. It's not one of them. Is there one in here? <laughs> Let's turn on the water. Oh. Oh, I I broke the handle. I'll just put it back on. It won't let me put it back on. I'll leave it there for now, I guess. What do I do now? Oh, here's one. Perfect. Okay, just one more. Where the hell is it? Well, it's been staring us in the face long enough. See two, five, uh, one, five, two, one. I'm stuck. This is your only warning about religious, uh, well, occult practices down here. Just. Die here, burn, run, make it stop. Oh god, they're talking about us because we're a cop. Satan, how many times do I gotta tell you? Not today! Leave me alone. Satan trapped there for a minute. Well, I need to go and look around and find the last peg. Where could it be hiding? That's the question. Or it could be staring me blank in the face. And there's a red candle. Is that it? That's everything we... Okay. This doesn't have a handle. It's a key to a lock. Where would this go? Oh, I was about to lock here. There we go. Let's see here. Oh God, Belladonna equals Mandrake times four. Okay, Mandrake is one, Belladonna is four. Okay. 
Mandrake is one. Shut your mouth. Uh, Belladonna is four. Uh, Eucalyptus, Mandrake, Belladonna. Rosemary. So eucalyptus is two. And rosemary is three. Rosemary. One, two, three. Donna, two, so eucalyptus is two. Chamomile is two. So two and two. Use the mortar and the pestle. Okay, that looks like the correct herb mixture. Let's just leave that on the chair for now. Gonna bring all the candles over here. Three. Okay. What has three? Mirror is the key. Okay. If I put these up to a mirror, they become... Let's try that. Let's try that. Ha! Okay, so these are the instructions for the candles. All right. We have black, yellow, red, green, blue, white. Okay, we've got black. Let me go get the others. There's red. Here is green. There's yellow. 
Where's blue? Hi, Hans. Yep, I reach 162. There's yellow. Uh, white. I need blue. Where's blue? We're almost done with the game, I think. I think this is the last chapter. I think we're almost done with it. I just need to find the blue candle. Where is it? Where is that thing? Uh-huh. Oh, here it is. I'm blind. Alright, let's finish this thing off. Okay, what were those instructions again? Black cannot be next to white. Okay. White is next to red. That helps. That means that red would be next to white. How's about you just get over here and stay with your friends? No, I said... Okay, whatever. You all stay. Stay. Where you are. Okay. Green cannot be the opposite of red. Red is the opposite of blue. And yellow is in between black and red. So, since red is right there, yellow has to be here. Black has to be here. Blue is to the right of black. So that means that blue has to be here. But red has to be here. Red is opposite of blue. And then green Good. here. Good. Now, to light them up. Before we light them up, let's go get that uh, salve stuff. That uh, herb mixture. Right where I left you. As you recall, the ritual states to light up all the candles and then put the mixture down. screwed up. What's happening? What did I do? Oh, shit. You get the fuck away from me! And just like that, we finished the game. There's our credits. Please go check out these people behind everything. As we can see, all of our notes and efforts have found us, have led us to finding the missing scientist. Let's see, early this afternoon, the Venter, John Dave, was found by Detective Thomas Moore and handed over to the London Police Department. The location of his arrest was his own apartment, and investigators still cannot understand how or what happened. People who were near his area claimed that they saw the man with a pig mask, covered in dirt and blood, handcuffed and entering a police car. Police reports say that they will continue with the investigation about the disappearance and are waiting for the scientist's testimony. 
Detective Moore was shortly hospitalized in Meredith Hospital as he suffered from a serious cranial fracture. When asked, he said he cannot make any statement about the case, leaving us all with big question mark about what really happened in this mysterious case. So yeah, that was the game. I highly recommend you all go and check out this game for yourself. Especially if you have a VR headset. This game in VR is supposed to be even scarier and even more fun. And apparently you can play it with friends. But for now, this is where we're going to leave things. I'll see you guys hopefully on Friday for more Okami. And if not on Friday, then by God I'm going to play something on Saturday and Sunday. Alright, I'll see you all later. Take care. Oh, and be sure to make an impact in somebody's life today. And make it a great one. Now then, I'll see you all later.